Here's a half hour of laughs and music, rebroadcast for you men and women in the armed forces of the United Nations. Listen to the music of Freddie Rich and his orchestra, the songs of Connie Hayes. Tonight's guest, the 20th Century Fox star, Miss Linda Darnell, and starring Bud Abbott and Lou Costello. Rachel, the orchestra answer requests for Speak Low. doing skipping around the stage. Come here. Oh, you see me skipping around, huh? Yeah. Well, that's the doctor's orders, Abbott. Uh, the doctor told you to skip? Yeah, he gave me his bottle of pills. See what it says here? Take these pills one a day and skip the next. Uh, oh. This is my skipping day. I see, I see, I see. Here we go around the mummery. All right, all right, all right, all right. Costello, Costello, please, will you stop that? What's getting into you? You're acting like a nitwit. I ain't no nitwit, Abbott. I used to be a nitwit, but I lost my needles. Oh, <laughs> You lost your needles. I lost my needles. Now we ain't got nothing to knit with. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. Look, what's come over you? Costello, stick out your tongue. Well, fool, I ain't mad at you. Now, come on. Let me see your tongue. Okay. Uh huh. You've got a coat on your tongue. Look down further. Maybe you can see a pair of pants. Uh, <laughs> Costello, are you sick or something? Come here. Let me feel your pulse. Uh, uh, here, let me put my hand on your brow. Are you kidding? Come on, let me put my hand on your brow. And let me put my head on your shoulder. What for? Let's dance. Oh, come on. <laughs> Cut it out, you dummy. Costello, you're not looking very well today. And you didn't look well last night. Uh, did you take that alcohol rub like I told you? I didn't have any alcohol habit, so I rubbed myself down with a bottle of beer. And I almost, I almost broke my neck. Almost broke your neck? How? Trying to blow the foam off my back. <laughs> Yes, I know. The trouble with you, Costello, is that you don't get enough fresh air. Now, why don't you get out in your garden like other people and plant some seeds? Ah, uh, plant no seeds. That's a fake. That seed stuff is no good, Abbott. What do you mean it's a fake? Last spring I planted two pounds of bird seed and not a single bird came up. Oh. Not even a little canary. All right, bird seed, bird seed. The only bird came up was... Yeah, all right, all right. Bird seed. Costello... <laughs> What's wrong? What's wrong with you today? Do you know? Do you know what you've been saying? Personally, I wasn't listening. Oh, oh you're getting impossible. Well, well. Good evening, boy. Oh, it's Ken Niles. Say, Ken, I'm glad you dropped in. Pay no attention to Costello, Ken. He's not feeling very well today. I don't know what's wrong. Well, with then why doesn't he do what my lovely wife does? When she's under the weather, she puts her feet in a hot mustard bath. It must take plenty of mustard to cover her dogs. <laughs> to a barracuda. I'm sorry, Mrs. Niles. My mistake. Oh, that's... Barracuda's got teeth. <laughs> oh, what an insult. I've got teeth. Yes, but a barracuda keeps his teeth in water. Oh. So what? I keep my teeth... Oh, stop that. Uh, just, just you said it. All right, never mind. Just a minute, Mrs. Niles. I'm afraid you'll have to excuse Costello tonight. He's on the ragged edge. Oh, I'd like to push him off. <laughs> 
darling, that was wonderful. You're so witty, dear. You're positively intoxicating. Oh, oh no, Kenneth, you're the one who's intoxicating. Oh, no, I insist, dear. You're intoxicating. Oh, no, dear, you're intoxicating. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you have just been listening to a couple of zombies. <laughs> Well, Costello, you did it again. You're always insulting people. I've come to the conclusion that it's all caused by the ragged condition of your nerves. What you need are vitamins. Vitamins? Yes. For instance, B1. B1 what? Uh, Just B1. Just B1? Yes. Are you one? No. (laughs) Then why should I be one? Oh. If it ain't good enough for you, it ain't good enough for me. What do you want to do, push me into these things by myself? I'm not pushing you into anything. I'm trying to tell you about something that's good for your nerves. Well, what is it? Be one. But I don't want to be one. I don't want you to be one. No? No, when I say be one, I don't mean be one. I mean be one. Oh, when you say be one, you don't mean be one. You just mean be one. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Look, Costello, do you know anything about vitamins and calories? Vitamins and calories? Sure, I know both of them. Paul vitamin and cab calories. No, no. No, I, I'm talking about vitamins. It's the same uh, thiamine. Have you ever heard of thiamine? Thiamine? Mm-hmm. Sure, I know him too. You know thiamine? Yeah, simple thiamine. No. Just tell you, dummy, thiamine is B1. When did they reclassify him? <laughs> Look, I don't mean that. I've got thiamine right here in this little uh, bottle, you see? Well, let him out before he chokes to death. Simon, get out of that bottle. Oh. Push out the cork and talk for me. All right, all right, look. Simon, talk for me. Yeah, quiet. Look, Costello, for the last time, I'm going to tell you what vitamins are. Vitamins are pills. A is the uh, sunshine vitamin. B is for energy. Vitamins start with A and go to H. That's all right with me. I, uh, <laughs> now, just remember, Costello, the vitamins are A, B, C, D, E, F, G, I A. I got a nail in the collar, my Oh, boy. get out of here. Connie Haynes to sing a brand new song for the first time on the air. Listen to Saltwater Cowboy. Who is that great, big, wonderful man wearing that fine coat of tan? He's a saltwater cowboy with the whole world for his brain. Just a saltwater cowboy. And the herd he rides is strange. He's a rounding up his country folks, wherever they may be. He's a saltwater cowboy, a United States Marine. Get along, little nippy. I can hear my singing cow. I'm taking you to pasture. Keep your pastures green. and the orchestra revive an old favorite. I've got you under my skin.
All right, Costello. Follow me in here. I'm taking you to see Dr. Bullfinch, the famous psychiatrist. Abbott, there's nothing wrong with me. I don't know that you know psychiatrist. Oh, no? You've been acting very strangely, nervous, fighting with people, wouldn't take your vitamins, and today you had your lunch in the bathtub. I always had my lunch in the bathtub. Don't you think that's crazy? No, I could take a bath and wash the dishes at the same time. Oh. <laughs> there ain't nothing crazy with that, brother. Well, there's another thing. You haven't taken your hat off in three days. You even go to bed with your hat on. Now, why don't you take your hat off? What, and let my pigeon fly away? <laughs> oh, shut up. You're going to see the doctor, and right now. Ah, come right in, Mr. Abbott. I've been expecting you. So this is your little friend, Lou Costello, eh? Uh, yes, doctor. You were perfectly right in your description of him. He does look a little, uh, shall we say, uh... <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, but no matter, after all, many a simple man has gone places. How soon are you leaving? <laughs> uh, there's only one thing to do. Costello, I'm going to psychoanalyze you. If you touch me, brother, I'll call my mother. Abbott, get me out of here. Now, Costello, Dr. Bullfinch won't hurt you. Why, of course, I just want to probe into your subconscious mind. Now, for instance, have you had any dreams lately? Oh, yes. Last night I dreamt I, I wanted a salami sandwich. Fine, fine. Salami is imported. Oh, yeah. That suggests that you wanted to take a trip. Isn't that what you wanted? No. I wanted a salami sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> but didn't you try to analyze your dream? Uh, now, uh, didn't you go beyond the first phase? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I did. I got up and ate the salami. <laughs> <laughs> and that was all? You slept peacefully after that? Not exactly. I know it, I know it. You were subconsciously disturbed. You wanted to make that trip. Yeah. Now, uh, did the dream repeat itself? No, but the salami did. <laughs> well, let's forget the salami. I'm sorry I brought it up. Oh, you had one too? <laughs> Doctor, I, I think you'd better try something else. Good idea, good idea. Now, let's try word associations. Now, Costello, I'll mention a word, and you tell me a word that is closely related to it. For instance, the word flower. What does that make you think of? Poppy. Good, good. Poppy mm -hmm. is a flower. Right. Now, what does poppy make you think of? Mommy. <laughs> Mommy? That's funny. I don't think of Mommy. Well, you should. Mommy thinks of you. Costello, please, will you pay attention to the man? Yes, let's start over again with the word flower. Now, what do you think of? Bed. That's perfect. Flowers grow in beds. Now, uh, the next word is river. Bed. Good. Riverbed. The next word is icebox. Bed. Bed. <laughs> Costello, how can icebox make you think of bed? I'm tired. I... <laughs> All right. Now, let's take the word tired. What does that suggest? Sleep. Sleep, that's right. right. Now we're getting places. What does sleep suggest? Delicatessen. How in heaven's name could sleep suggest a delicatessen? Because I might have another dream tonight and I'm all out of salami. <laughs> no, this man is impossible, Mr. Abbott. I suggest you take him to a rest home immediately. My nurse will go with you. Oh, nurse? Yes, doctor. Abbott, I ain't gonna go to no rest home with no nurse. Costello, look who the nurse is. Linda Darnell. This... Oh, I don't care if it is, Linda Darnell. I don't care. I am not... Not the moving picture actress. Yes. <laughs> the beautiful moving yes. picture actress. That's enough. I'll go. I'll go. Hello, Mr. Costello. Yeah, you are right. I am a sick man. <laughs> oh. Now that you've got a pretty nice, you're a sick man, eh? That's got nothing to do with it. Come, Miss Darnell. Let us flee to the restroom, our home. <laughs> oh, just a moment. Mr. Costello. Please, Mr. Costello, we have to be absolutely sure that you're really sick. Honest, Linda, I'm sick as anything. I have pictures on my head. I dream about salami. I have lunch in a bathtub. Now, wait a minute, Mr. Costello. I only give my personal attention to critical cases. But my case is critical. Do you realize I'm dying? Oh, Costello, how do you know you're dying? I just busted my lifetime fountain pen. <laughs> <laughs> just think, Linda. You can nurse me back to health. Then we'll go steady together. Oh, no, I'm sorry, but I only go out with certain persons. So what about me? Who's certain you're a person? <laughs> Uh, Costello, stop talking like this. Miss Darnell may have a boyfriend. Oh, you don't know. I certainly have, and what a man. He has the charm of a dozen men and the body of a prize fighter. Oh, yeah? Well, what's the matter with me? You have the charm of a prize fighter and the body of a dozen men. <laughs> the body of a dozen men, huh, Linda? Now, listen, I'm not that fat. You're not fat? <laughs> oh, just look at you. And people say Los Angeles is spread out. <laughs> Yes, Costello. <laughs> uh, 
Miss Arnell is right. You certainly are fat. In our last picture, you photographed as big as an elephant. No wonder I keep getting peanuts in my fan mail. <laughs> now, never mind this bold rash now, Linda. Now, leave us free to the rest home. <laughs> Fast, Costello. Look, before I can take you to the rest home and give you my personal attention, I must be fully convinced that you need a mental rest. Okay, I can prove it, and I can prove that I need it. Abbott, tell her what I did this morning. Costello, do you really want me to tell her that? Go ahead. I'm brave, Abbott. Go on. Go ahead and tell her. All right. Linda, this morning, Costello walked all the way from his house to the studio on his hands. On your hands? On my hands. Well, why did you do that? I don't wear suspenders, and it keeps my pants up. Oh. Here's little Connie Haynes to sing the season's new hit, The Lovely Way to Spend an Evening. Some like to live for the moment. Some like to just reminisce. But whenever I have an evening to spend, just give me one. is a lovely way to spend an evening. Can't think of anything I'd rather do. This is a Catching a breath of moonlight Humming our favorite tune This is a lovely way To spend an evening I want to save all my nights And spend them with you June, spring will be a little late this year. Spring will be a little late this year. A little late arriving in my lonely world over here. For you have left me, and where is that April? Costello, here we are. The Mark Torrance Rest Home and the Hospital in Banning. Hospital, eh? 
I was in the hospital last night, Abbott. What happened? What happened? Yesterday afternoon, my Aunt Minnie had triplets. And there was her husband, Uncle Henry, sitting up in a bed with a pink bed jacket on, holding one of the kids in each arm. Your Uncle Henry had a kid on each arm? Where was your Aunt Minnie? Oh, she had to go to work. She's a riveter at Lockheed. <laughs> now, just a minute, Costello. You said your Aunt Minnie had triplets. That's and, right. And your Uncle Henry was only holding two of them. Now, where was the other baby? Oh, Aunt Minnie took him to work with her. Oh, that's ridiculous, Costello. What would that little baby be doing, your Aunt Minnie, in a defense plan? Now, tell me that. Who do you think throws her the rivets? Oh. <laughs> Costello, if anybody ever needed a rest home, it's you. Come on, let's go in. Now, uh, we've got to get you to bed. Good evening, boys. We've been expecting you. Oh, hello, Linda. Let's not waste any time. Come on, start soothing my nerves. Shh, Costello, you must talk in a whisper. This is a rest home. Uh, yes, Costello, remember that. You've got to be very quiet. This is a rest home. All right. I'll remember that. Look, Linda, have you got an outside room with a bath? <laughs> Somebody's got a <laughs> radiator. <laughs> Please, Mr. Costello, you must observe absolute silence. Understand? Silence. Okay, Linda. Very well. Come on. Follow me. I'll announce you. Mr. Costello is here! Mr. Costello is here! Mr. Costello is here! A rest home. It's recess. Oh. <laughs> uh, Miss Darnell, we'd like to see the head doctor. Uh, who's in charge? Uh, Dr. Blaney, but he isn't here. Uh, where is he? He probably went away for a rest. <laughs> <laughs> well, in Dr. Blaney's absence, Dr. Maney is in charge. Oh, here he comes now. Well, 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 well. Good evening, gentlemen. I'm Dr. Maney, M.E. M.E.? What's that? That's me. <laughs> 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 Greetings to you. And nuts to you. <laughs> Dr. Maney, this is Lou Costello. He's the new patient. Oh, oh, a new patient, eh? Well, we here at this happy haven of health have a few simple rules we must abide by. For example, no riding bicycles through the corridors after three in the evening. But would it be okay for me to drive my automobile to the back? Uh, yes. Providing you don't stop in the library for gas and oil. <laughs> but remember, the most important rule that we have is I.E. and to wit. Whatever happened to Mrs. Pruneface? <laughs> Abbott, I may not have a nervous breakdown yet, but if I play my cards right, this is the place to get one. Costello, have a little more respect for the doctor, please. Hello, Nurse Donnell speaking. Yes, yes, all right, we'll someone up right away. Who is that? The horse in 619 wants another blanket. <laughs> oh, why don't you give him mine? I've got a sweater. Well, gentlemen, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go now. I must see if the nurses are comfortable. Bye. Uh, look, Linda, when does Costello start resting? Yes. Well, uh, uh... I mean, after all, somebody... Somebody, I mean, Connie... Connie should have been here by now. Yes, you know, they're going to... Oh, operate, that I'm... nurse by now. <laughs> I'm all ready for my operation. My goodness, Linda, are they going to operate on this beautiful little girl? Yes, they're going to operate on her in a few minutes. <laughs> Do you mind if I cut in? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take your salary, too, this week. Costello... <laughs> Costello, you, you didn't come out here to... <laughs> Will you listen to me, please? Now, you didn't come out here to be with girls. You're supposed to relax. Well, different people relax in different ways. I'm the one that relaxes in different ways. All right, never mind. Fight! <laughs> <Bye. laughs> well, Mr. Costello, it's time for you to go in and see Dr. Daney. He's in his office now, resting. Why don't you go in and wake him up? I don't want to wake him up. Maybe he's dreaming about a salami sandwich. Oh, that's quite... That's quite all right, Mr. Costello. Just tiptoe on that door quietly and say, Dr. Daney, Dr. Daney, wake up. It's me. Open the door, Costello. Go in. <laughs> Dr. Daney, Dr. Daney, wake up. It's me. It's Costello. Nice, Doctor. <laughs> Come on, Doctor. Hey, Doctor. Come on, wake up. Wake up! Wake up! Don't be it! Snow White! This is Mr. Costello, Mr. Daney. <laughs> He's been a little nervous lately. You don't have to be nervous. All you need is rest. Plenty of rest and quiet. Relax! Relax! Rest up! Well, look, Doctor, you don't have to be nervous. Always on edge. Nerve shot. But no more? Rest! Rest! Plenty of rest! That's the thing. Fix you up in no time. I know, but I... Calm down! Calm down! All the time! All right, all right. Have a good time! Relax! Relax! Sleep! Get sleep! Plenty of sleep! Half 
what you need. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Take it easy, doctor. You'll be all right. <laughs> when are you going to examine Costello? Waste the time, waste the time. We'll get some rest. Go ahead. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Let me rest and quiet. Quiet, quiet. Well, Costello, did you see Dr. Daney? Yes, ma'am. I saw him. Well, what did he say? to play a new Cole Porter tune, I Love You. 